Welcome to Golden Truth Tarot, my golden friends. Before I start today's video, I want to remind you that on my website, you can find jewelry made with the highest quality crystals and gemstones that I sourced personally from the prestigious Tucson Gem Show that was held in Arizona this past January. If you're interested in anything go on my website i have different types of bracelets everything is handmade by me you can also find different types of rings you can find necklaces earrings anything you might like also if you want to book a private reading with me you can book through my website the link is below this video on www.goldentruthtarot.com and some of the jewelry, you can find them on my Etsy store as well. Just type Golden Truth Tarot. Thank you so much for staying with me through this message. And now let's move on to the video. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your main reading. Let's get started with the first week of May. And this first week is going to bring the resolution of a big conflict. A big conflict that you've been involved for a while. And it has to do with money. It has to do with property. It has to do with, with shared finances. For some of you, Sagittarius, this can be a situation of sharing assets after a divorce. It can be a situation of inheritance and fighting with other family members over inheritance. Some of you might even uh, be in court or lawyers are involved to help you navigate and, and, and get what, what's yours and what belongs to you and what you feel is right for others. We might be a situation of you have provided a service to someone or sold a product and they were supposed to pay you a certain amount. They didn't pay you enough. Now you're asking for what's yours. It can even be a partnership, a business partnership that you feel like it's not working and it's not beneficial to for you and you want to be independent you want to uh, you want to separate you want to end this partnership and there is a conflict there because you're not getting what you have invested in the beginning and you are asking for what's yours you will come to some sort of a resolution with this person it has been um, so problematic and so out of control that you know at this point it's not even you're feeling like it's not even worth it with all the stress that it has caused you and all the problems that it has caused you feeling like oh this is just going too much you just want to close this chapter and move on to something to something new and leave all of this behind I see that for some of you guys, there's a person who has a lot of earth energy that is the main, the, the, the person who you're having this conflict with. Because in the second week, the king of pentacles is telling me of someone with their ascendant or sun sign in either Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And in the beginning, you thought, okay, I'm going to, this person is reliable, they know about business. Um, um, if you were in a relationship with this person, you um, one of the things that you liked about them is the fact that they, they provided and they were so stable and they were so practical in managing money and finances. But now you see a complete different side of them. They're, they're very opportunistic. They're try. They're they're using anything. They're using their uh, the fact that you share finances together to as a way to hurt you, as a way to create problems, as a way to harm you. And you're seeing a very different side of them, a very dark side of them. And uh, they're also a lot of the things that they told you in the beginning was a lie, and they actually have a lot, a lot of debt on their side, and that's why they're fighting you um, tooth and nail uh, to to get most of uh, what 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 you have accumulated together or what belongs to you. So during this second week, we also have a new moon in Taurus. And new moon is all about new beginning, starting fresh. It's all about uh, what gives you security, what you value. So your money, your asset, properties, anything of that sort. 
it's going to be a new chapter for you guys so basically starting starting you leaving all of this behind this person either they like it or not they're going to have to agree to the terms that they're they they're going to be set in place. As I said, some of you might even have to go through the court system for all of this, or you've, you're already in the court system and fighting with lawyers to get what's yours. So even if they, if I see that they're, they're going to be very angry about this, very upset. They, of course, they don't want to pay what, what they owe. They don't want to be generous in any in any way they they're just thinking about themselves but they're going to be forced they're going to be forced to have to give you something it's not going to be everything that you are owed because in the second in the third week of may i see you're getting some money you're getting some help you're getting some of what belongs to you not all of it so you're not completely happy with how things turned out you're like okay at least I'm getting something out of this whole battle. I'm, I'm I'm getting something in in return. It might be just one payment, and then you would owe more, and you would have to get something more down uh, down the line. It's going to be a process that uh, it's going to continue if you want to continue to fight for it. Others, some Sagittarius's, I see that will make that decision to say, you know what, this is just too much to deal with, too much fighting, too much to go through. Uh, I'm going to take my losses, take what I can in this situation, whatever they can pay, whatever they can give me, and then move on. Because there's a desire to just completely close this, this, this stressful situation, this stressful chapter in your life. Because I see that for... Those of you guys, those of you Sagittarius who resonate with this message, this has been going on for a long time. This is not something that is just going to start in the beginning of May. This might have been going on for a year or two or even more that you're and you've been paying and you've been, um, you know, paying lawyers and, and dealing with this person for so long that now you just want this whole thing to end and uh, and leave everything behind in a way. Sometimes in life, things just don't work and, and, and you have to know when when to keep fighting and when to just say, okay, it happened, I, I, I learned from this. I gain some knowledge. I, I understand how things work. It, it, it is still an experience. It's still a very, very important experience in your life. One of those lessons that help you really understand money, finances, how things work. And of course, from this point on, you will make completely different decisions for yourself and for your future. From the Oracle of Crystals, the crystal, the stone for you for the month of May, it's Topaz. And Topaz is also the crystal for the Sagittarius is born in November because it's the stone is the birthstone of November. And the message is, you know what is the right path for you. Success and new opportunities and better opportunities are awaiting. Okay, so you know, you know that cutting ties with this person, moving on with your life is going to be more beneficial for you. And I see that once you close this chapter, you will get all of the, all the money that you have spent, all of the opportunities that you might have lost. It's all going to come right back to you in a different way. If you offered a service and this person didn't pay you, you will get even more business. If you are separating, if you were in a business partnership with this person, you get you are going to get even more um, money and clients and business. If you work for yourself, if you have, if you start the business from the beginning fresh, only by managing uh, everything yourself without having to rely on them and their decision making. If you were in a relationship that didn't work out, you're still going to be able to. Buy and you bought a house and now you're at a state where you're um, either selling the house or splitting the asset, you'll be able to rebuild yourself all over again. 
And that's why topaz is such a powerful stone. It's a stone of renewal, a stone of transformation. It's an amazing stone for those of you guys who are in a state of starting something new, starting a new chapter in your life, uh, especially for those who have an emotional a situation that is very, very emotionally charged. There's different types of topaz. I have a topaz ring, this one, this pink topaz that you can find on my website. It's only one ring available. This is a size, a size six, uh, and you can find it on www.goldentruthtarot.com. Topazes are semi-precious gemstones. Their uh, hardness scale in the most scale is eight. So if a diamond is a 10, and a ruby or a sapphire is a nine, then next is topazes, there's a, um, which are an eight. So I would recommend you guys wearing a topaz as a ring with you, and it can symbolize your new path, your new beginning, your new path or your new beginning in this new chapter on your life of your life if you're interested this particular ring you can find on my website um, and yeah i see closing this chapter finally closing this chapter in the last week the death card is a symbol of renewal of ending something that is not working for you anymore and we also have a full moon in sagittarius may 23rd the full moon is all about closing closure anything that doesn't work for us anymore leave it behind and it's in your sign it's in Sagittarius it's going to make you see the bigger picture in life and realize that anything material you can replace doesn't matter anything material you can still make money again you can still buy property again you can still um improve your life again and even more at times so so that all of that is it's replaceable. What's truly important is to preserve your mental health, to preserve your peace, to prefer, to preserve your um, to preserve your heart from having to go from more pain and more fighting and more arguing and more and more problems. So the death card at the end is a great omen of change closing one door when one door closes another one opens and starting fresh from there from this new beginning of love and peace and even though it's going to feel at times it's going to feel at times dark it's going to feel at times like when is this going to end still you will be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel and you will feel relieved Okay, uh, the, the cards are telling me anyone can make the decisions they want, of course, but the cards are telling me that it's better to cut your losses with this situation and to just take what you can, what what it's going to be given to you in the third week and move on from there and not continuing this fight because this is going to be just prolongated even more and it's going to continue for longer and is, is going to be way too stressful so you have to ask that uh, ask yourself that question is it worth the fight the, the 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 money involved is it worth the fight is it worth everything that's come uh, comes with it okay Sagittarius this is everything that I see for you guys thank you so much for watching please follow and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I see you next time Bye-bye.